Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the head gasket on an air compressor. The head gasket forms a seal between the cylinder head and the valve plate on your air compressor. After many years of use, this inner portion of the gasket can wear out, which will cause a leak within the pump on your air compressor, and the pump will no longer build pressure properly. Also, anytime you do any work on the pump on your compressor, it's common for this gasket to become torn or damaged during the disassembly and reassembly of the pump, at which time it should be replaced. Replacing the head gasket is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Head gaskets, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website at ereplacementparts.com. Let's get started. Before we remove any parts, we want to drain the air out of the tank, because some of these parts are under pressure. So I'll go ahead and open the drain on the tank and let all that air pressure out. We'll get started by removing the manifold cover. Next, we'll remove the two screws that secure the pump to the tank. Now I'll just slide the pump assembly to the side and lift it away from the tank. Now I'll remove the two screws that secure the top handle to the pump. There are three screws that secure the two halves of the pump cover. I'll remove those screws and then I can pull the back half of the cover away. Now I'll remove the two filled wires, this one and one on the other side, as well as the ground wire. It's a good idea to make note of the color and location of each of these wires so you can refer to it when you reassemble. I'll use a couple pair of needle nose pliers to pull this connection apart. A flat bladed screwdriver for the ground connection. Now I'll rotate the pump out of the housing so I have access to the second field connection. And again I'll use my pliers to pull that connection apart. With the wire connections removed, now I can pull the pump away from the housing. Now that I have the pump assembly removed from the rest of the compressor, the next step is to remove the head bolts. With the bolts removed, now I can go ahead and separate the components of the pump. There's our cylinder gasket, the valve plate, and the head gasket. Here I have our new head gasket. This is a graphite gasket, so you want to be careful not to damage it while handling it. To reassemble, I'll line up the cylinder gasket on the side that has the five valves. Those five valves go against the piston, followed by the head gasket. If this gasket is damaged, you want to replace it as well. And now I'll replace the cylinder head. Now 
Now we'll torque these bolts to between 49 and 55 inch pounds. I'll torque the head bolts in a crossing pattern. Now we can place the pump back into the housing. I'll slide it in just far enough so we can make our first wire connection to the field. That's the white wire. Now I'll continue to slide the pump into the housing, lining up these feet with the grooves in the housing. Pull my wires through, and now I can connect the yellow wire to its field connection. And now I'll re-secure the ground wire connection. With the pump wires reattached, now we can replace the rear housing cover and secure it with the screws. Now we can install the handle to the top of the pump and secure it with the screws. Now I'll place the pump back onto the isolator feet and slide it back. Now I'll replace the screws that secure the pump. And finish up by replacing the manifold cover. And that's all it takes to replace the head gasket on your air compressor. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.